Alright, so this is a response to Naz's video that was on, or was uh, made on the 14th of February. It's a bit late of a response, but I just had the time to respond today. It's about Chris Brown and the whole issue about letting him perform on the Grammys this year. Um, and the quotes that the Grammy producers had about, you know, about the whole issue and how they apparently, through the Grammy pr producers' quotes, they were the victim, as inferred by their quote. Um, in the article uh, on the uh, blog site Hello Giggles, that was linked up by Naz in the first place, it has all the information and all the quotes, but basically the quote had inferred that they were the victims in the whole situation, you know, of Chris Brown and, you know, Rihanna, when in reality Rihanna should be the only victim and was all the only victim. She was literally beaten, if you guys ever got the chance to read the transcript of the actual police report on what ha had happened in detail. It was pretty brutal. Uh, I don't think anybody should support something like that. Um, everybody gets into arguments. You know, that doesn't mean you put your hands on your spouse. Um, it's a bit sad that that actually had to happen to some someone so young. And, but the reality is that it happens every day to anyone, any age, you know, especially in Canada, especially, not just in Canada, especially North America where the, the baby boomers are, you know, all getting old. So we have an influx of uh, seniors. There are a lot of uh, situations that are coming up where seniors are being abused in many ways, but, um, that's not what we're talking about. Today we're talking about abuse towards women, specifically the deal with Rihanna and Chris Brown. And basically my opinion on the whole thing that I wanted to respond to Naz is that I do agree with you. I do agree with you and the whole, you know, beating is not, getting abused by your spouse is never, never an option. It's never going to be right never ever and what the Grammy producers had said was pretty stupid as well um, they shouldn't even have a say I don't think so but I don't think that I don't think that you know Chris Brown shouldn't be allowed to perform at the Grammys or things like that because I mean the fact of the matter is he was charged and I know you were questioning if you weren't sure if he was charged or convicted or not but he was charged with two two charges of, of assault and um, domestic violence uh, I don't know the specifics on what those two charges were but it had to deal it d dealt sorry it dealt with the actual assault um, and so if so the thing about that that I'm trying to say is that okay fine you know what this guy sucks he beat his girlfriend you know that's the that's a pretty fucked up thing to do definitely um, and I understand that it is annoying that people are accepting him again a little bit but um, he was convicted he is paying a price I mean obviously not the proper full extent of the price but he did have his bail and whatever fine and Danny sorry I have a little bit of cold so I'm gonna be sniffling throughout this little blog here this video blog um, but I just I just think it's just Grammys should be should have nothing to do with convicting or you know legal issues I understand it's a social thing so socially people are you know are pretty fucking pissed about it and they are a lot of people still are you know what and they were and so that's why he hasn't been at social um, places like the Grammys in a couple of years I'm not saying there's 
a certain amount of time that someone should have till they get to go back to the Grammys. I just think it's a socially determined thing in the first place. You know, the Grammys. If it was, you know, if it was a legal issue, then obviously he wouldn't be allowed or, you know, our law, the legal system would determine what amount of time he wouldn't be able to come back. But since it's not a legal issue, it's a social issue in terms of the Grammys, then, I mean, he has all right to go if, you know, the Grammys are allowing him to go or the people want him to go or whatever the case may be. I mean, if he didn't pay his, his dues, I think he is still paying his dues socially. He's still paying his dues. He pays, he paid his dues, you know, in terms of lo losing his girlfriend, just being labeled as a dick because of what he did, of course. Um, because of his money, he didn't pay the legal, you know, dues that, you know, maybe a, a normal person would have. He didn't have to go to jail for what he did, which a normal person without that much money would have. Um, I guess that's how their system works. Sadly, that's how the world works at times. I'm not saying that's okay. That's a problem. It's a big, huge problem, especially when it's something like that, which is like totally unfair and nothing, you know, nothing makes it okay. Nothing makes it okay. Um, and just in terms of the quotes by the other artists, Naz, that you were talking about, like Mary J. Blige and uh, I forget, whoever else, and I know you were saying they were kind of neutral about it, but you insisted that they were passive, and yeah, they are being a bit passive, though, at the same time, I think that's kind of a smart move from them, just because, just because I don't think it's necessarily their business, you know, because um, it is kind of a personal issue. I mean, as a woman, it's hard, right? I mean, Mary J. Blige, for instance, okay, let's take her. She's been through a lot of shit. She's actually got a pretty bad scar on, I think it's her left side, uh, that's usually covered up by makeup, but she's got a pretty bad scar because her relationship that she was in, it was abusive, and she writes songs about that all the time. So, I mean, I don't think a person like her would, like, be passive without a really good reason. I think it's because she understands that, okay, sure, she's, she'll say something, but it's none of her business. In the end, it won't really, you know, help Rihanna. She probably knows Rihanna, right? And Rihanna's the victim here. So Rihanna needs the comfort. And... Mary J. Blige is bringing it up. She knows how emotional a topic like that is. And, I mean, I don't think that's being passive. I think that's just her being smart. And if she says something or opens her mouth, it's going to, like, be, as as a star, it's going to be, like, unproportionately, you know, media is going to cover it and, you know, not take it well as she might have meant it to be. And I guess that's why she says what she has to through her music because that's the only medium which, you know, she won't be totally misconstrued about and her lyrics are not going to be changed because it's a song and you obviously can't change the lyrics to a song um but about like Lindsay Lohan and stuff like I don't even know if she knows Chris Brown well enough or Rihanna well enough to even like say something if she felt strong enough she you know I guess they just, they're the stars and they just don't want to get stuck in a stupid situation where they have no right to be saying something. Though I know it is a social issue and they're all part of the entertainment industry and if you are part of that industry and shit like this happens, I don't know how much of an impact that would change things like this. If you were Lindsay Lohan, for instance, like Mary J. Blige, maybe because she's she's got a closer connection to, you know, Chris Brown and Rihanna. But yeah, about that. That's and overall about Chris Brown. Like I was kind of upset just because I was kind of. I would say I was pushed a bit to the side of getting pissed about Chris Brown performing and all. But then I thought about it. And as I said before, I was like, you know what. I wish, I wish society would, would have given him no bail and kind of let him rough it up in the prison a bit 
because I would love for him to feel the wrath of what he did. I don't know how how long of a sentence he would have gotten, but Rihanna had a pretty bad sentence, and she's still going through it. You can hear it through her music, and um, you know that's pretty rough for her. And uh, but I also think that forgiveness is a big issue, and I uh, Naz Naz had mentioned in her video, and Naz, I'll just talk straight to you. You had said that you know it's it's kind of projecting a wrong image of you know it's you know teaching a wrong Im image to society about this is okay. You're allowed to be you're allowed to do this to people, and I I really don't think fully that's that's uh, necessarily right to say because he did he did go to court he did do this he's getting a lot of slack still right and i understand he's getting now like recently now everybody's like trying to forget about it that's the that's the problem people are trying to forget and that's a problem you should never forget fine listen to music fine but you should also you know also always give him slack because you always need to understand the fact that what he did was wrong you can't say oh well, let's just forget about it and i understand that but i also understand that it's wrong it's a wrong message to give the public that you can't forgive somebody because forgiving somebody endorses a better outcome you know endorses a person to change more to a more positive outcome i would say and obviously like you can always say, what well, if the person does it again? Sure, the person might go and do it again. Then the guy is really fucked up. So, I mean, then you have the opportunity to say, you know, I'm not going to forgive you again. Or whatnot. Whatever your choice is. But I really believe in the fact that you need to show that, you know, forgiveness is an issue. And if you don't show some form of forgiveness and a bit of leniency, the person will fully not change and get even more angry. And it'll just end up in a more negative like cycle of negative outcomes from that situation that, that whole situation um apart from that to go on the next issue that you were talking about as the whole um campaign the slogan about uh what was it let me read my little here it was real men don't buy girls the human trafficking slogan where um celebrity men were um you know trying to endorse the non-trafficking movement and trying to stop that whole thing from happening obviously it's a pretty bad industry going on around the world um and you're right i don't like the way they worded it excuse me not at all because there are just as many children just as many women just as many and in children obviously there's boys so girls boys and men alike across europe across wherever else it's happening and i do not think that's the best choice of words <laughs> you're right they should have just you know simply done people don't traffic people or it should not happen at all it's not the best way of doing things around here obviously not so I fully agree on that. It's pretty, it's pretty uh, not smart. Like I mean, Sean Penn, he should know better. Come on, that guy's like a smart ass. He shouldn't be endorsing something kind of stupid. I guess, you know, he's trying his best, and you know, people are trying. I guess the slogan is trying to cater to a less analytic, you know group of people or generation not generation i shouldn't say but a group of less analytic people <laughs> people in general so that's why they probably made it that simple and a little bit of a catchy thing you know to relate to people who wouldn't uh, think about it in depth as we do but in the end, it's a bad message because then what about the people here in North America who work in the industry or the, um, you know, the adult, the X-rated industry where, you know, prostitutes do get paid or men do pay for women and that's kind of already, uh, it's, it's a more accepted industry and there are more legal ways of dealing with 
the wrong way of doing it here. Um, it's not the best, but they're better than it's not trafficking. Trafficking is not what prostitution is. Prostitution is, or being a stripper, things like that. That's what I mean by things happening over here in North America, or not even North America, but just uh, the right way of. If you want to sell yourself, <laughs> if you want to sell yourself, the right way of doing it, I suppose, I suppose, would be the way strippers do.